Hello again. I have here what appears to be a copy of a British Army knife. Now, there's a few different variations of the British Army knife that are also made by different makers, usually in Sheffield. Problem with this one is, I don't know where it's made or by who. Now, we do have some markings. We have the broad arrow, which usually indicates that it's property of the British government. We also have what I assume to be a date, 1985. Below that, what I assume uh, to be a serial number, because I can't think of what else that could be, 9757402. It also says oil the joints. Now, whoever had this before me certainly did not oil the joints, because my god is this thing stiff. And then we've got the letter H and a diamond. I do not have a clue what that means. Now, if any of you know what that means, please do Please let me know because I haven't a clue and I'm just a filthy amateur. Um, so let's have a look at the blades. This thing has three tools in total. The main one obviously being this sheep's foot blade. Which has absolutely no markings on it at all. Usually it'll tell you the person that made, well the company that made it. Um and where, so it would usually say on these knives, Sheffield, England. This one has nothing. Now, just to compare that to another one. This one actually does say Sheffield, England, although it is difficult to see because with opening and closing, because that is so tight, the, you know, it's basically been rubbed off the tang. So it is starting to wear off. This, this is one that I bought new as well. And I'm not really sure what else it says because... I wish they wouldn't do that, but uh, it's kind of covered up by that screwdriver there. So we have that main blade, and I'm going to have to open that up to get the other tool out. Um, by the way, this is completely dull. Um, we have the ridiculous oversized British Army car opener. I really don't know why they feel the need to make them so large. In fact, just for comparison here, let's get a Victorinox can opener I mean there's quite a difference and I think I have tried to use a can opener on a British Army knife before and it was very uh, ineffective now this one is ground in such a way it almost acts like another knife I mean you can see you can see the grind on that um, it's not really sharp, but honestly, if you wanted to, you could probably use it as a box opener or a secondary knife if you really wanted to. Hell, I don't doubt you could probably cut rope with that if you sharpened it. Now, the can opener has a tang stamp, stainless steel. That doesn't really tell you anything. Stainless steel, well, what kind of stainless steel? Now, if I get the other one out for comparison, I don't actually remember if that says anything on it. Give me a second. And of course it's being difficult, I need to use something else to open it. That's the problem with knives like these. What's the point in having something like this in your pocket if you need a secondary tool to open the thing? Okay. Had to use a trusty Victorinox screwdriver to get that open. Sheffield, England, stainless, oil the joints. So that's a bit more useful uh, on this one. It's, it's nowhere near as sharp. And yes, I've absolutely oiled the crap out of this thing. And even then, it's still difficult to open. Back to this one. The only other tool on this, which I'm sure you've already noticed anyway, is the screwdriver. So, all things considered, not a bad little pocket knife. Now, I'm not really sure if it came with those gaps from the factory or if that's just from use because I got this second hand at an antiques and collector's fair in Edinburgh recently. I've already done a video uh, on the stuff that I got from that fair if you care to go and watch that. Um, so that's basically all I know about this thing. I paid about, I think it was about 25 quid for this and along with another knife. Now I'm sure a lot of you are going to say I've overpaid for it, and yeah perhaps, but to me that wasn't a bad price. That works at about 15 quid for this, which I'm actually pretty happy with because I've got a solid knife here. 
that's probably never going to break on me. I mean, it's 100% solid steel. There's no other materials in this but steel. Of course, it is a little heavy, but at least you know it's not going to break. I mean, look at look, look how thick that is. That's not going to break on you. Steel pins. Now, usually on pocket knives, the pins are made of brass, so you've got next to no chance of this breaking on you. I mean, if you break one of these, bar snapping the tip of the blade, of course, um, I'll be very surprised. We can see here we've got a bale, which is, for once, pretty well made. These are usually squint. So I don't really have much more to say on this little knife. If you've got any comments on it, let me know below. If you know exactly what it is, let me know. Do you have one? In fact, one thing I'd really like to know, if you do have one, do you carry it? Do you EDC it? Or is it just a work knife or do you have one that's just sitting in the drawer because you've got a similar problem to me? You don't find it to be too useful because it's too big and too bulky. It's difficult to get the blade sharp and it just you just can't justify carrying it but you do like to have them in your collection. Do let me know. See you later.